So can you please introduce yourself, tell us where you're from? Uh, so my name is Corbett Zabrick. I am an alumni of Xi Delta Chapter at Texas A&M University. Uh, I just moved here to San Diego from Dallas, Texas. Earlier today you told me that you live somewhere else that's really interesting to me. Can you please tell us what you were doing there? Uh, I lived in Singapore for two years. I was uh, working with the, one of our contract manufacturers on site. I also found this to be an interesting fact. Can you tell us the year you pledged? Uh, <laughs> spring 98. <laughs> Uh, so I moved to Dallas and joined section staff. I was on section staff for Section 41 for a couple of years. Uh, and then after attending Nationals 2002 in New Orleans, I became an APO Leads presenter. And I've been doing APO Leads presenting for about seven and a half years now. So how long have you been in San Diego? Two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite part so far? The weather. <laughs> Yeah, the weather is pretty nice here. Um, you told us a lot of interesting stories today, but can you just tell us your funniest moment in APIO? <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, my funniest moment in APIO. That's, that's a really tough one. Um, The funniest moment, I, I think, in APO is when I met another alumni uh, from your chapter. And she'll probably kill me for saying this on camera, but um, some of y'all know her. Lori Cannington is a really good friend of mine, and uh, I met her. I had done an explore, and uh, we had. Um, she was in my explore class, and then she recognized me when we were in the airport from uh, flying back uh, from uh, Louisville to Dallas, and she happened to be on my flight. We struck up a conversation, and. I wanted the conversation to continue because I thought Lori was really cute at the time and I was single. <laughs> so I ended up, I have a lot of frequent flyer miles, and so I ended up upgrading her to first class with me while, because that's what I was flying at the time. <laughs> and so we, and, and it was just a lot of fun because it was really fun to get to talk to Lori and, and get to know her, and that was probably the funniest time I've ever had in APL. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty cute. Um, do you have any advice for active members? Just coming from another chapter, you might have seen things a little differently than we do, so can you just give us some advice? Um, for active members, especially ones who are graduating, there is plenty to do in terms of being an Alpha Phi Omega after you graduate. Don't think that once you graduate, you can't continue to serve the fraternity outside of your local chapter. There's lots of opportunities, and so there's plenty of things to get involved in to continue uh, Alpha Phi Omega. Okay, thank you for letting me interview you. Thank you.